What is up Shredders? Today I'm here to talk to you about Bone Shaker Picks. This is a business created by one of my subscribers and he sent me these picks for free and I think they're really great picks and the thing I like about these picks is that they're made from material that you almost never see in picks more or less. These are made from ebony cocobalo. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. Camel bone and buffalo horn. And all of these materials have a different kind of feel to them that I really like. And they also have a different type of tone if you're more into that uh, specific micro styling of your tone more or less. The blonde and the black picks right here are a bit more mellow for hard rock and metal. But honestly for me it's more about the feel. And I think these picks have a definitely great feel to them. And they have a very unique and interesting stylings to them as well. Uh, a lot of these picks, if you see here, have a thumb groove on it as well as a finger groove on the back side. I can't, hopefully you could see this correctly. Hopefully this is focusing. If you could see here, these things have thumb grooves on them on the back here as well as a groove on the back hopefully that's focusing correctly and this helps align your fingers more or less like so like so and I think that's a really nice design and they have it, it fits your hand very naturally more or less and you have a, a decent amount of pick coming out so you can get that really uh, aggressive deep kind of digging into your strings more or less. This is pretty much as big as a standard pick right here but you also have picks that are slightly smaller like this bone bevel tip one that is more aligned in aligned with a Jazz 3 pick. If you're really into a very precise pick such as the Jazz 3, the original Jazz 3, then these type of small picks will work really well for you and the bevel is really nice the thing I actually like more about this pick than the original Jazz 3 is that this all of these picks are super super hard so they won't move whatsoever and when it comes to precision especially for shred you want very hard picks so that they do not move the flappier picks have their space more or less especially for more looser type of soloing <laughs> but if you want just to have your hand exactly where you want it to be and you want exactly the right kind of tightness with with your precision you want the tightest and hardest pick you can get <laughs> out of a pick more or less I usually use the Jazz 3XL more or less because it has the best bevel on it as well as the, the most amount of uh, headroom with the pick more or less. When I say headroom I mean this kind of uh, this kind of how much pick is coming out. This is what you typically typically get with the normal Jazz 3 but with the Jazz 3XL you get something more more akin to this type of pick coming out and I think that gives you enough type of uh, grip to it that you can really do whatever you really want on the guitar without buzzing out with your fingers more or less that I, I had a lot of trouble with with the, the normal Jazz 3. I use the normal Jazz 3 every now and then for very precise intricate things but the Jazz 3 XL is just overall a better pick in my opinion for rhythm and soloing. A lot of these picks here do what both of those picks do but it also combines a lot of these stranger materials that have a actually a nicer uh, a nicer type of feel to it than both of those picks like I'm really digging these wooden picks they they have this kind of uh, they kind of have this this chunk to it that I really kind of find inspiring to play with it's very um, it's very odd and different for a pick
and the bevel as well really makes it relaxing as well as ergonomic that really makes it kind of a joy to play with this pick I find these picks as well with the holes in them uh, hopefully you can see that these type of picks this ebony standard as well as this camel bone do really have a nice feel as well and then you can if you have problems holding your pick more or less this hole in the middle between this will help add some flesh in between both of your fingers to really hold on to the pick a lot better. I really dig these camel bone ones a lot because it has a very specific feel to it. To me it has this kind of shh type of sound to it when you go to play with it. I have not played a pick that has this type of sound to it, but to me when I hear this type of sound to it, the shh that type of sound to it. It reminds me a lot of Paul Gilbert's, uh, Paul Gilbert's playing, uh, especially with his intense rock DVD. If you ever heard that, you can hear that kind of, uh, that kind of, uh, it's hard to explain, that kind of uh, shh, shh, shh type of sound with the pick. And to me, it adds this type of uh, tonal flavor to it that really makes your shredding kind of stand out with it more or less. It has it has a different type of flavor to it. It's hard to explain. <laughs> I wish I could explain it better, but it definitely has that kind of shanking sound to it. Shanking is probably the best word right now I can think of to describe. But it feels really great to play with these bone picks. I'm really enjoying the bone picks. And honestly, I think the bone to bevel tip is actually better than the Jazz 3 because it's so hard. And it has that shanking sound to it that I really like. It's fantastic for shred. The buffalo horn here. To me this feels more like a standard pick. It, it has a very, uh, has that plastic feel to it, but honestly it feels harder than plastic. Um, I can't attest to how long this will last durability wise, but to me I think it would last a lot longer than a typical plastic pick, but it has... It does, it has that standard plastic feel to it. That's really nice. Um, it also has the, uh, the Jazz 3 type of, the Jazz 3 type of styling as well. The laminated hardwood is a bit different and it's, it's thicker than a normal pick and it has a great feel to it because it's thicker. Uh, I usually never use picks this thick, but it's kind of a nice novelty that it's this thick and it's actually easier to pull off pinch harmonics, especially with this pick because it has that type of thickness to it as well as it being the Jazz 3 type of how big the Jazz 3 type of bigness to it more or less <laughs> that you can really pull off pinch harmonics easily with this thing overall I think these are extremely great picks and if you've ever wanted to just adventure into exotic woods exotic materials into picks I think these are a perfect place to start and I think they sound fantastic and to me the feel of a pick is very important and I think a lot of these picks have a distinct type of feel to it that you can't really get from 
a typical pick, especially the bone picks. I cannot suggest the bone picks enough. They are fantastic. You should try them out because they're so different feeling and different sounding, especially with that shank sound to it. And they're very well thought out picks as well, especially with the grooves and the holes and the way they're designed so that you get the maximum amount of playability with these picks. They're, very, they're shaped very well and they work extremely well for pretty much any style you want especially for shred and jazz and very precise type of guitar musics out there they're totally worth picking up and trying out
you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, caress that subscribe button. Don't smash it. Smashing is so 2010. We're just going to slightly caress the subscribe button. And if you subscribe or not, it's, it's up to you, more or less. <laughs> but thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.